Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello and assalamu alaikum. So today I, I am going to present my article that is a multi-attribute decision-making method for the evaluation of software enterprise based on t spherical fuzzy domain aggregation information. And the author list of the papers include uh, me, uh, Ms. Zanera Gul, Professor Dr. Harish Dot from India and Professor Dr. Tahir Mahmood. First, we will have a little introduction about the primary author. This is Dr. Tifaizullah, and I have done my PhD from International Islamic University, Islamabad. Currently, I am working as an assistant professor of mathematics in the Department of Mathematics, Ripa International University, Lahore campus. Now we'll have a look at the contents of the talk and it includes the basic concepts, the aims and objectives for the proposed work, the proposed work, which include results and their applications. Then we'll study uh, the comparative study of the current and previous work. Then we'll conclude and summarize our talk and finally some acknowledgements. In the basic concepts, first we will discuss the definition of intuitionistic fuzzy sets that is proposed by Atomisoft back in 1986. So for any universal set X, an intuitionistic fuzzy set is having duplets where S represents the membership grade and D represents the non-membership grade for any element X belonging to X. Uh, there is a restriction on the membership grades and non-membership grades that their sum must not exceed zero one interval. This term R of X is known as the refusal degree or it, it can also be regarded as hesitancy degree of X and P. The concept of intuitionistic fuzzy set was further extended to the notion of pure and gato pair fuzzy sets by Ronald R. Yeager back in 2016. It says that for any universal set X, a pure and gato pair fuzzy set is having duplets again, where S is the membership there, D is the non-membership there, but the restriction on this S and D is far more flexible comparative to intuitionistic fuzzy sets or Pythagorean fuzzy sets. So it says that the Q sum of the S and D must not exceed between zero and one. So basically Q and Gato pair fuzzy sets enlarges the range by assigning the membership and non-membership degrees. The term R of X is known as the hesitancy degree of X in P. Further, the concept of uh, intuitionistic fuzzy set was extended to picture fuzzy sets by B.C. Kong back in 2014. Kong suggested that human opinion can not only be uh, described by membership degree or non-membership degree, but it has some abstinency and refusal expects as well. So for any universal set X, a picture fuzzy set is of the form is having triplets where S denotes the membership grade, I denotes the abstinence grade, and D denotes the non-membership grades of the element X belonging to X. And the condition on these membership grades is, is their sum must not exceed the zero one interval. The term R of X is the refusal grade in this case. Picture fuzzy set is a uh, Voting, uh, to, to describe an example, we can say that voting is a perfect example of picture fuzzy information, where one may vote in favor, one may vote against, one have some abstinence, and one may refuse to vote. So the four degrees of the picture fuzzy sets or picture fuzzy information represent the four aspects of human opinion. The condition on picture fuzzy set on the membership degree, abstinence degree, non-membership degree is very strict, and it restricts the decision makers in a certain way and decision makers cannot assign these values independently. To provide a little independency, Mahmoud et al. proposed two concepts, spherical fuzzy sets and T-spherical fuzzy sets back in 2019. So for any universal set X, a T-spherical fuzzy set is of the form P uh, is equal to SID. Like any T-spherical fuzzy sets having triplets of the form SID, the SID denotes a membership abstinence and non-membership grades respectively. All uh, their values must lie between zero and one and the sum of their Q powers must lie between zero and one where Q belonging to positive integers. 
if we place qv is equal to 2 then the structure of it t spherical fuzzy sets reduces to pythagorean fuzzy sets if we place qv is equal to 1 then it becomes picture fuzzy sets so we can say that t spherical fuzzy sets generalizes spherical fuzzy sets picture fuzzy sets pythagorean fuzzy sets q and of the pair fuzzy sets and intuitionistic fuzzy sets as well Now we uh, have the definition of score function and accuracy function of t spherical fuzzy numbers. So basically, we use score functions when we need to rank two or more t spherical fuzzy numbers. So the score function of t spherical fuzzy number p is equal to s i d is defined by this expression. Uh, its its range is from minus one to one. Similarly, if the score of two t spherical fuzzy numbers becomes equal. Then to differentiate the t spherical fuzzy numbers, we have accuracy function, which is defined by this expression. And the range for the accuracy function lies between 0 and 1. Now, as this paper is based on Dombey aggregation operator, and the foundation for Dombey aggregation operator is Dombey t norm and Dombey t conorm, which was proposed by uh, Dombey back in 1982. So for any two real numbers, f and g, don't be t norm is defined by the first expression while don't be t conorm is defined by the second expression. Now we'll discuss the aims and objectives where we will look at some previously defined don't be aggregation operators. So in this case, uh, the first aggregation operator is intuitionistic fuzzy don't be aggregation operators. For any uh, finite number of intuitionistic fuzzy numbers, pj, the weighted averaging and weighted geometric don't be aggregation operator are defined by the first and the second expressions respectively. This work was proposed by Sheikh et al., uh, Sheikh and Mandel in back in 2019. After Dombey, the intuitionistic fuzzy Dombey aggregation operators, uh, the Dombey aggregation operators are developed for Q and Gato pair fuzzy numbers as well. So for any finite number of Q and Gato pair fuzzy numbers, weighted averaging and weighted geometric Dombey aggregation operators are discussed in expression one and expression two respectively. This work was proposed by Jana et al. back in 2019. Uh, this is a generalization of intuitionistic and Pythagorean fuzzy Dombey aggregation operators. And it provides more flexibility to decision makers than the previous, than the other two frameworks. Then, uh, Jana et al. back in 2019 extended the notion of Dombey aggregation operators uh, in the environment of picture fuzzy sets. So for any finite number of picture fuzzy numbers, picture fuzzy Dombey weighted averaging operator is given in the first expression, while picture fuzzy Dombey weighted geometric operators are given in the second expression. So now we look at the shortcomings of these Dombey aggregation operators. So if we look at the Dombey aggregation operator of intuitionistic fuzzy sets, it describes only membership rate and non-membership rate of A. That is two aspects of human opinion. Similarly, Pythagorean fuzzy sets, similarly, q rang pair fuzzy sets. Although q rang pair fuzzy sets uh, is comparatively better than these two, by the way, it provides a larger space for decision makers. But again, it does not discuss the abstinence grade or refusal grade of information of the human opinion. And it means that there must, some, there must occur some information loss in decision making process. And this is the disadvantage of these three types of frameworks and these three and the don't be aggregation operators of these two, three frameworks. Now, if we look at the don't be aggregation operators of picture fuzzy sets, so it discusses the membership grades of human opinion, the excellency in the human opinion, the non-membership degree in the human opinion, and similarly, the, refu the refusal degree as well. But the problem is, the restriction on these grades is very strict and it does not allow the decision makers to assign me membership degrees independently. Uh, that is, it has a very restricted range and very low flexibility. And this is the disadvantage of this picture fuzzy Dombey aggregation operators. So to enhance these or to remove these limitations or to produce some flexible uh, Dombey aggregation operators, the aims of this paper were to propose Dombey operational laws for t spherical fuzzy sets, to propose Dombey aggregation operators for t spherical fuzzy sets, and to study their applications in multi attribute decision making. Now we'll discuss the proposed work. In the proposed work, first we have some Dombey operational laws for t spherical fuzzy sets. 
So these don't be operational laws includes don't be sum, don't be product. Then we have don't be scalar multiplication and don't be power operation. And all these operations are based on don't be T norms and don't be T co norms. And these operations are the generalized forms of the don't be operations of pure and the pair fuzzy sets, picture fuzzy sets, spherical fuzzy sets, intuitionistic fuzzy sets, and so on. Based on the Dombey operations that are described in previous two slides, we have T spherical fuzzy Dombey weighted averaging operator. So a T spherical fuzzy Dombey weighted averaging operator for some finite T spherical fuzzy numbers PJ uh, is defined by the following expression. And if we expand this expression, then we get the following theorem one, which is very useful uh, in aggregation process. And we use this theorem one uh, in the decision-making process that will come later in the later slides. Then there are, uh, okay, there is an example to describe how we, how can we apply the T spherical fuzzy don't be weighted averaging operator. So we have four T spherical fuzzy numbers, P1, P2, P3, and P4. Uh, and we say that, like uh, we can we claim that for Q is equal to four, all these triplets are T spherical fuzzy numbers and not less than three is it. Q is equal to four. Like if we place Q is equal to three, then one of these might not, not be a T spherical fuzzy number. So we take the, we select the Q, the value for Q is equal to four, and we chose R is equal to two. Uh, the R is again flexible. You can, one can place R as three, four, five, and so on. And changing this R may have some uh, reflection on the ranking results as well in the decision-making process that we analyze in the paper as well. This WJ is the weight factor of the four T spherical, T -spherical fuzzy numbers. So we apply the T spherical fuzzy don't be weighted everything up better in this way and we get this result. We can say that the, the, the result we got in this triplet is also a T spherical fuzzy number. After this, we have two specific special types of T spherical fuzzy Dombey aggregation operator, like T spherical fuzzy Dombey ordered weighted averaging operator. We use this when we need to uh, highlight the ordered position of the information. Then we have an elaborative example. Due to the shortage of time, I might not explain this one. Then we have another type of Dombey, uh, T spherical fuzzy Dombey hybrid averaging operator. And we use this operator when we, knew, when we need to weight the T spherical fuzzy argument as well as discuss their, as well as give importance to the ordered position as well. So in that case, we use T spherical fuzzy Dombey hybrid averaging operator. This is the expression of T spherical fuzzy Dombey hybrid averaging operator. And in the next slide, there is an elaborative example on this operator in which we take four T spherical fuzzy numbers, or Q is equal to four, R is equal to two, and this weight is the aggregation weight, and this weight is the weight of the T spherical fuzzy arguments. First, we give weights to T spherical fuzzy arguments or information, then we compute their score to range them, to, uh, to rearrange them, or you can say to order them, and then we aggregate them. And the result is again a T spherical fuzzy number. Every aggregation operator must satisfy three properties and we claim that the aggregation operators discussed in the previous three slides also satisfy the properties of impotency, boundedness, and monotonicity. Then we have these spherical fuzzy weighted, don't be weighted geometric operators, which are based on the power operation and the don't be product. So a T spherical fuzzy don't be better geometric operator for some T spherical fuzzy numbers PJ is given in this expression. And if we apply these operations on T spherical fuzzy numbers, we get this theorem two. This theorem two uh, is also utilized in the decision making algorithm and example in the later slides. So now we have the applications of these don't be aggregation operators in decision making problems. So we know that in a decision making problem, the main purpose is to select the best alternative among the finite list of alternatives and uh, which, which is happening based on some attributes. And in this, to do so, we need to use some aggregation operators and some score functions as well. So now I'm going to describe the steps of decision-making algorithm uh, quickly. 
in the first step, we collect the information about the alternative based on the attributes from the decision makers. In second step, we determine the value of Q for which every triplet is, um, is uh, becomes a T-spherical fuzzy number. In step three, we use T-spherical fuzzy domain weighted averaging and geometric operators to aggregate the information of decision metrics. In step four, we compute their score values. And in step five, we rank the best, we rank the alternatives to compute the best one. So here is an example. Uh, this is the example is of technology commercialization, uh, where we take consider four software enterprises denoted by A1, A2, A3, and A4 that are assessed under four attributes, uh, which are advancement of technology, market potential, human resources, and financial development, and creating of employment and development of technology. The weight factor is given by this expression. This is the uh, decision matrix that we collect from the decision makers. We observe that for Q is equal to four, uh, all the triplets in the first table are T-spherical fuzzy numbers. When we apply T-spherical fuzzy don't be weighted averaging and don't be weighted geometric operators on table one, we get the results that are displayed in table three as follows. On table three, we apply the score value, score function, and we get these results. If we uh, order or arrange these results, the score with the values of score, the score values, we came to know that A4 is the best alternative according to T-spherical fuzzy domain weighted everything operator, while A1 is the best alternative according to T-spherical fuzzy weighted geometric operator. The choice of using the operation is up to the decision makers. Here is the geometrical representation of the score values. Uh, after that, we did a comparative study where we applied some other T-spherical fuzzy aggregation operators on the, on the given example and get the results. We also analyzed that, observed that the previously developed Domby aggregation operator discussed in 31, 30, 29, and reference 28. And we see that those operators are not applicable on T-spherical fuzzy information, which shows the superiority of, T of using the concept of T-spherical fuzzy sets. So finally, conclusion, uh, in this talk, in this paper, we presented some Dombey aggregation operators for T-spherical fuzzy sets. We studied the case of ordered weighted and hybrid averaging operators of T-spherical fuzzy sets. We applied the proposed Dombey aggregation operators in multi-attribute decision-making problem. Finally, uh, T-spherical fuzzy set is a recently introduced uh, topic, and it got the attention of scientists from around the globe. And I can say that until now, like until 16th of July, it has 272 citations according to Google Scholar, and it has 207 citations according to Web of Science. So this notion of spherical and T-spherical fuzzy sets proposed by Mahmoud et al. along with me and some other colleagues of mine is getting attention now, and it is a hard research area. And finally, I am very much thankful to the Office of Research, Innovation, and Commercialization, the ORIC Department of Refine International University Lahore Campus, Refine International University, and the intelligent and the organiz organizers and management of intelligent and fuzzy systems conference series. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for hearing with me.